Hello guys, welcome to Technozar. This is Rohit Sharma, and in this video, we are going to analyze the Quest 5, which was based upon basics of communication system. In this, I have given total of 15 questions, which carry 60 marks, and one correct question is equal to 4 marks, and one incorrect question is equal to 1 mark. Okay, those who have, those who want to attempt the quiz. Uh, please join our telegram group that is Isrota for EC. Around 385 members are there that are preparing with me. Lots of questions we solved and in the coming month we will solve around thousands of questions uh, for ISRO to prepare for ISRO various exams like VSSC and HSFC etc. Okay, so let's start the video. Question number first is the time period of a 50 hertz, 50 kilohertz sine wave is. We know that time period is equal to 1 upon frequency, therefore time period is equal to 1 upon 50 into kilohertz so into, into 1000 that is 1 upon 50,000 is equal to 2 into 10 to the power minus 5 that is also we can also write this as 20 microsecond therefore option A is the correct answer. Now second question is a system has a sampling rate of 50,000 samples per second that is FS is sampling frequency is given as 50 kilohertz okay and we have to find the maximum frequency that is FM it can uh, acquire and reconstruct is okay so we know that FS is greater than or equal to twice of FM okay then I can write FS is equal to twice of FM and FS is 50 kilohertz which is equal to twice of FM therefore FM is equal to FM is equal to 50 upon 2 that is 25 kilohertz. 25 kilohertz is the maximum frequency of the signal. Therefore, option A is the correct answer. Next question. An increase in modulation in general leads to the increase in bandwidth in case of frequency modulation. Okay, option B is the correct answer. Question number fourth. A carrier is a carrier is modulated to a depth of 40%. That is the modulation index is given as 40%, which is equal to 0.4. Okay, we have to calculate the increased power. Okay, so we know that PT is equal to transmitted power is equal to carrier power bracket 1 plus M modulation square modulation index square upon 2. Okay, uh, so put the values of modulation put the value of modulation index in this 0.4 square upon 2 that is equal to PC bracket 1 plus 0.4 ka square is 0.16 upon 2 that is equal to 1.08 times of PC we have to uh, we have to find the increased power therefore PT minus PC upon PC into 100 okay and PT is 1.08 that this is 0.08 1.08 times of PC minus PC upon PC into 100 Okay, I am taking common PC from here that is 1.08 minus 1 upon PC, PC, PC cancel into 100. This will be equal to 0.08 into 100 and that will come out to be 8% increase. There will be a 8% increase in the power. Option D is the correct answer. RS-232 communication is used for a is full duplex. Okay, next question. In a 50 in in a 50 percent modulated signal that is m is equal to 0.5 okay the carrier is suppressed for transmission that is pt is equal to pc we have to calculate the saving in transmitting power okay to uh, so for calculating the saving in transmitting power we can say percentage power saved saved power is equal to useful power useful power upon total power okay i can write this useful power is PC and PT is PT is PC bracket 1 plus M square upon 2 and we know that PT is equal to PC therefore PC PC is cancelled this will come out to be 2 plus 2 2 upon 2 plus M square okay now I am putting the value of modulation index here 2 plus 0 0.5 square is equal to 2 plus 2 0 0.5 square is 0 0.25 0 0.25 that is equal to 2 upon 0 0.25 into 100 2.25 into 100 this will come out to be 88.9 percent okay option a is the correct answer next question the period of the signal uh, we know that the period of the signal to calculate the period of, of the signal this is equal to t naught is equal to 2 pi upon omega naught therefore we have to find omega naught here and uh, you can see this this is the formula for cos a 
कॉस ए कॉस बी माइनस साइन एस एन बी एंड वी नो डेट कॉस ए प्लस बी इज इक्वल टू कॉस ए कॉस बी माइनस साइन ए साइन बी ओके दे आर फोर ए इज इक्वल टू टू पाई टू पाई टू पाई टी एंड बी इज इक्वल टू फोर पाई टी ओके दे फोर कॉस ए प्लस बिल ए प्लस बी विल बी टू पाई टी प्लस फोर पाई टी विच इज इक्वल टू कॉस सिक्स पाई टी दे फोर ओमेगा नॉट हेयर इज सिक्स पाई एंड टी नॉट विल बी टी नॉट इज इक्वल टू टू पाई अपॉन ओमेगा नॉट इज सिक्स पाई पाई टू पाई कैंसिल टू अपॉन सिक्स इज वन बाई थ्री सेकेंड दे फोर ऑप्शन ए इज द करेक्ट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर एट अ सुपर हेट्रोडाइन रिसीवर विद एन इंटरमीडिएट फ्रिक्वेंसी डेट इज गिवन एस एफ आई एफ विच इज इक्वल टू फोर फिफ्टी किलो हर्ट ओके एंड एफ एस दूड टू अग्नल ऑफ सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड किलो हर्ट दे फॉर एफ एस इज सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड किलो हर्ट वी हैव टू फाइंड द इमेज फ्रिक्वेंसी इन अ सुपर हेट्रोडाइन फ्रिक्वेंस सुपर हेट्रोडाइन रिसीवर इमेज फ्रिक्वेंसी इज इक्वल टू एफ एस प्लस माइनस टू एफ आई एफ एफ एस प्लस माइनस ट्वाइस ऑफ इंटरमीडिएट फ्रिक्वेंसी दे आर फोर सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड प्लस ट्वाइस ऑफ फोर फिफ्टी इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड प्लस टू इंटू फोर फिफ्टी इज नाइन हंड्रेड दिस विल कम आउट टू ट्वेंटी फाइव हंड्रेड किलो हर्ट्स ऑन कैलकुलेटिंग विद माइनस साइन सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड माइनस टू इंटू फोर फिफ्टी दिस विल कम आउट टू बी सेवन हंड्रेड एंड सेवन हंड्रेड इज नॉट इन द ऑप्शन दे फॉर ट्वेंटी फाइव हंड्रेड किलो हर्ट्स इज द करेक्ट आंसर ओके ऑप्शन ए नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द बैंडविड ऑफ द वीडियो सिग्नल इज फोर पॉइंट फाइव मेगा हर्ट द सिग्नल टू बी ट्रांसमिटेड इज यूजिंग पी सी एन विद वन जीरो टू फोर आई कैन राइट वन जीरो टू फोर एज टू टू द पावर टेन दे फोर नंबर ऑफ बिट्स विल बी टेन ओके एंड द फ्रिक्वेंसी विल बी द मैक्सिम फ्रिक्वेंसी विल बी ट्वाइस ऑफ बैंडविड दे फोर टू इंटू फोर पॉइंट फाइव विल बी नाइन मेगा हर्ट्स एंड द सिस्टम बिट रेट the system bit rate that we have to find is system bit rate is given as this is fs okay n into fs therefore 10 into 9 is 90 mbps mbps will be the correct answer option a next question the data rate of qpsk is dash as that of the bpsk for the same symbol rate okay here QPSK is given as quadrature, quadrature, phase, shift, king, and similarly BPSK is given as binary, phase, shift, king, king. Therefore, the data rate of QPSK is twice as that of the BPSK for the same symbol rate. Okay. What is the bandwidth efficiency in units? Okay, bandwidth efficiency is denoted as the net data rate, net data rate divided by the bandwidth in bandwidth in hertz. Okay, net data rates is given as the SI unit for net data rates is bits per second. And the bandwidth is in hertz. Therefore, the SI unit of bandwidth efficiency will be bits per second per hertz. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. Now, question number twelve is in a in a mobile communication system, handoff is a technique used to maintaining an acceptable link quality when a mobile st station travels a cell boundary. Okay. Therefore, the option C is the correct answer. Question number thirteen: If radio receiver amplifies all the signal frequency equally well, it is said to be ha have high fidelity. High fidelity means if the signal at the input end is equal to the signal we are getting at the output end, then it will have high fidelity. Therefore, the radio receiver will have high fidelity. Option A is the correct answer. Next question: The bandwidth required for QPSK. modulated channel is we know that bandwidth for qpsk bandwidth for qpsk is f is equal to f and bandwidth for bpsk is twice of f therefore they have asked the bandwidth of qpsk modulated channel is half the bandwidth of bpsk therefore option a is the correct answer 
नेक्स्ट एंड द लास्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ दिस वीडियो मॉड्यूलेशन ऑफ मैसेज सिग्नल टू कैरियर इज नेसेसरी फॉर लिमिटिंग द एंटीना टू रियलाइजेबल रियलाइजेबल साइज ओके therefore option c is the correct answer if you have any doubt in this quiz for quiz 5 sorry quiz 5 you can ask me in the telegram group okay and those who want to attend the quiz attend the quiz please join telegram group these all quizzes are free 100% free okay so please join it and attempt it as much as possible so that you can brush up your concept for the coming isro exams okay uh, all the best We will meet in the next video.